This is exercise number 25 in the Paint with Lens series of short lessons and today we'll paint some water and rocks with the sun coming up in the morning behind the horizon. Here on my palette I have crimson, ultramarine blue, raw sienna and plenty of white. With my 2 inch house painting brush let's put white all over the area where we need sky. I'm painting in acrylics and mine's a bit sticky so I'll spray it with a bit of water and spread in the area which will be sky with the undercoat. This is just an undercoat of white paint. If you're working in oils, do exactly as I'm doing here, but do thin your paint out so it'll flow properly. With the ultramarine blue, we start with a misty sky, very pale sky, crisscross, crisscross, right across the top of the board, and we'll try and get those corners a lot darker than the rest of the painting. Don't come right down into the white, and use long brush strokes to finish your sky off. So keep adding the dark right into the very corner. You can use long brush strokes here and then clean your brush along the bottom where we're going to have water. Then a little bit of crimson in the sky and again clean the brush in the water underneath. Long brush strokes again and then crisscross crisscross the crimson into the middle of the sky and then take it up into the top of the sky so you do have a little bit of a crimson glow over the top of the ultramarine blue. More crimson and this time we'll brush it up into the sky like rays coming from behind the horizon. So bring your brush stroke straight up and lift it off as you get up towards the top of the sky. Then we spread it out again and that'll take it back into the sky. Now with raw sienna we lay it on the lower part of the sky and bring it up into the sky also the same as the crimson so it lays over the top of the crimson crisscross in the corners to blur it out a bit we don't want people looking there we want it rather boring over there and then bring it up into the sky blend it in and then with white underneath the raw sienna we'll bring that up into the sky also with definite flicking up brush strokes and there's our sky nice and bright. Now the horizon line with my scruffy big brush again we pick up plenty of ultramarine blue and draw a straight line across where the horizon line should be and then we'll blend it in. To get a straight line it's a good idea to move your whole body with the brush and fill it in so you have a nice straight line across what will be the horizon. Have it nice and bright out there and do use long brush strokes horizontal brush strokes. If you use too many up and down brush strokes your water will not look flat. We'll put a bit of crimson and blend it in and a bit of raw sienna and blend that in also and over the top of the raw sienna with a bit of white. Now my little size 10 hog bristle brush paint in a few waves that's just got a little bit of paint on it Keep them horizontal also. Don't dip them down at the edge. Don't let them drop off. And try and keep them very level with just a little rise here and there. Don't keep them all the same. Load the brush again. Just a little bit of paint on the very tip. And more or less clean your brush as you move along. Don't worry about what's under the brush. Keep an eye on the tip on the top of the brush. So try and put those waves in with a minimum number of brush strokes. Then with a little soft hair brush, and you see I have just a little bit of paint on the top. A little bit of white, a little bit of raw sienna on the bristles. Brush in the sunlight on top of the waves. The distant waves are just a little hint of sunlight and the closer wave you can detail a bit of sunlight coming in there. Don't go to too much trouble with the wave just a little bit of froth or detail here and there. Don't try and copy my work exactly just make yours up as you go along and don't work 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 over it. Because this wave's here I'll make use of it. Let's detail it just a little bit. Now here we need our rocks and I know that in front of the rocks there should be some shadow. 
So let's put the shadow in first. Need some more blue. Let's add a bit of crimson to turn it into a purpley colour. Blend them together and that'll be the shadow coming towards us from the rocks which we haven't put in yet. And we'll brush it in with a down brush stroke. That's the reflection coming towards us. Remember, down with your brush stroke and clean your brush every time. Don't clean it in terps or water, just clean it by dragging it through a rag. And let's have a few colours on here. Maybe you can just see them. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. But put them in anyway, just a bit of detail for the rocks. Now we mix our dark colours for the rocks. Mix the blue, crimson together and a little bit of raw sienna. And that'll give you a very dark colour. Don't mix them completely. And then we can sculpture in the rocks. Put them where they cut off the end of the wave. Just where they should be. Make it up as you go along and put them where you think they'll look good and keep your wave or anything that looks good out there, keep it so you can see it. I'll just pull these down into the water a little bit with a knife and then a little bit of raw sienna and white. We put the sunlight on top of the rocks all on one side. Now don't overdo this, you do want those darks for the rocks. If there's too many darks we can cross them out later. A little bit of white around the bottom of the rock, give it a misty look. You can do that with a brush if you wish. Then bring them down, down, down into the water before your paint dries and across to give it a nice shiny effect. Then pick up a lot of white with a little bit of raw sienna in it on the edge of your knife, right on the edge of the knife. And with that we can sculpture in the froth in front of the rocks right near us. You get one chance of this just do it once, make sure it's horizontal and then sculpture it in with a zigzag movement moving across the board towards you. Again load the knife with raw sienna and white and touch in your white frothy bits. They must be horizontal. Zigzag coming towards us. Again load the knife right on the edge of the knife, a little bit of white and raw sienna, quite a bit of paint and this will give us our very straight lines. Keep them horizontal. Now in the corner let's unload all our paint that's left, all the dark colours, don't let any white get in here, just the blue and the crimson. Sculpture in your rocks, let them zigzag up above the horizon. That one's a bit pointy, we'll fix that later. And not too much on the horizon, don't do that. That doesn't look very good, it's confusing for the eye. Take it up above the horizon. If you haven't got a bit of water you can see through there, it doesn't matter. And bring it down so it fits in nicely, as if you're arranging a flower arrangement. You put things where they look good. Clean the knife every time before picking up paint. This is burnt sienna and white. Mix them together, I've put a bit of blue in there and crimson. Clean the knife and sculpture the sunlight on the rock. Keep your eye on the very edge of the rock. Don't worry about what's happening down below. A bit more sunlight, we need a little bit more colour here. Let's have it a bit brighter. Oh, there's a couple of holes in the rock there. I'll fill them in just to pick up a bit of dark and touch them a bit. Now this bit here, I don't quite like it. What's going on there? Let's change the shape. It's a bit too pointy there. So let's change the shape of that rock. And this one. Don't overdo it. Just touch it on where you need it and let's it leave it like that. Well that's a very simple painting for beginners and you might enjoy that. You might be quite impressed with the contrast between the light and the dark. Well let's add a few birds. We'll start near the rocks because if we muck it up we can change it into a rock. An M 
an M. There's a V. And a few more birds. You notice my brush is loaded with dark and light. That's a little soft brush. And here on the rocks, let's place a bird. We'll do his head and then his body and turn the brush a little bit and you get the tail. You might want to practice these before you put them on the painting. And if you do muck them up, just grab your painting knife and change it into a rock. Head, body, tail again. Here's another bird. And let's have another one. A V and V and an M. We'll have one over here. Now take the masking tape off and that's a very simple little painting and I hope you enjoy that.